looking at total needs of all different designs, fixed, mobile, retaining, substituting uh, in his fluoroscopic kinematic analyses. He's going to share some of his work comparing fixed versus mobile bearing knees. Rick? Well, Doug, thanks for, uh, for that. And it's good to be here with you. And um, it's amazing to think when we look at fluoroscopy that we've now fluoroscoped over 2,500 knees. And um, I was asked to be able to come here today and look at the differences between rotating platform and fixed bearing knees. And, so hopefully we'll get a chance to take a look at that and see what the differences are. Here's our fluoroscopic process. The fluoroscopic process allows us to fluoroscope the patient and use a three-dimensional model fitting to be able to extract the, the rollback, the axial rotation, the frontal plane chondral liftoff, but also to be able to look at the forces, the contact areas, the contact stresses, all under in vivo conditions. And as you said, Doug, when you look at fixed bearing PSTKA, when you do have femoral axial rotation, what happens is the cam is engaging on the medial aspect of the post, which does lead to wear that we see with some of the retrievals. Here's another fixed bearing knee, and you can see with our in vivo process, you can see that all the contact stress is driven through the medial aspect of the post, which I think is a concern with fixed bearing PSTKA. Here again is a, um, another fixed bearing PSTKA, and you can see, look on the right, you can see that the, the cam is driving into the medial aspect of the post. What we see and what happens typically, if the cam does not stay actually rotated, what happens in a lot of TKA, as soon as the cam and post engages, you lose all the axial rotation, and what happens then is the femur actually rotates in the wrong direction. But with a mobile bearing knee, interestingly, we see with the rotating platform that when the cam post engages, it, it, it engages fully to where the, the cam is engaging on the post and all the contact area is being dispersed throughout the post. We've been asked with the Sigma RP TKA, does the bearing rotate? And here's a beaded poly study where we put beads into the polyethylene and track the polyethylene, and yes, we did see bearing rotation with the Sigma rotating platform TKA. But um, here's a study by Garlene et al., which proves that not all mobile bearing knees get bearing rotation. In their study, they found that most of the rotation was the femur on top of the poly. In two out of 10 subjects, the femur actually rotated in the wrong direction. And in many of the subjects, the poly did not rotate at all. We also looked at our, um, our analysis where we created an in vivo contact mechanics analysis that allows us to get contact area for live subjects and contact stresses for those subjects. So here's our um, contact area under in vivo conditions. You can see that the mobile bearing TKA actually gets a greater contact area than the fixed bearing uh, TKA. So what does that mean? Well, what we found with uh, contact stresses under in vivo conditions that the rotating platform TKA actually got significantly less contact stress on the medial, as uh, on the medial condyle, whereas the fixed bearing TKA often went above the yield strength of the polyethylene. Here's an example, too. When you have a significant axial rotation, uh, you lose the maximum contact area. When you lose that contact area, the contact stresses are significantly greater for the fixed bearing TKA. What about patellofemoral mechanics? Well, we did our analysis initially on the normal knee to get in vivo contact area of the patella, which you can see is significant throughout motion. Then we analyzed the Sigma PS rotating platform knee, and interestingly, we did get good contact area all the way throughout flexion for these subjects. But looking at other um, TKAs, we saw that there was lesser contact area and deep reflection. And we also found in our studies of 2,500 TKAs that the greatest amount of weight bearing range of motion that we found occurred in subjects with a rotating platform PSTKA. So in summary, what were the advantages? We found that even though the kinematics are similar for most TKA, the RP TKA got the greatest amount of weight bearing uh, range of motion. They got better cam post mechanics, better femoral tibial me uh, mechanics, especially greater contact area and less contact stress. And in our recent studies, we found that they get better um, patellofemoral mechanics.
Well, thank you, Rick. I think you have uh, given us some great basic science on some of the potential advantages of mobile bearing total knees, but one thing we certainly all know, if they are not implanted, no matter what the implant design, if it is not implanted properly, certainly optimal results will not be obtained. And I think with that, let's go back to the operating room as Dr. Gorab is, uh, I believe,